Hello and welcome to the Craigmount BBC News School Report with Beth and Sam. Today we will be reporting on three major issues affecting pupils at secondary schools throughout Scotland at the moment. One of the main topics we've been investigating is the Scottish Parliament. Our reporters Jamie, Alex, Sarah, Kristen and Kirsty have been to the Parliament to tell us more about the Parliament and the people who all play a vital role in the important decisions that affect our daily lives. Hi, I'm Jamie and I'm in the debating chamber. Hi, I'm Kristen and I'm on location in the public gallery. And I'm Alex, here with Sarah and Kirsty in the garden lobby, reporting for the BBC School News Report. The people of Scotland are represented in two parliaments, the House of Commons in London and the Scottish Parliament in Edinburgh. The Scottish Parliament makes many decisions on behalf of the people of Scotland, including matters such as health, education, transport and social work. The Parliament also has its own building here in Edinburgh. And this house is not only members of Scottish Parliament or MSPs, but lots of other people who help in the running of the Parliament and the decision-making process in Scotland. Well, it's a role that has a lot of different parts to it, but I'll keep it as simple as I can. Perhaps the most obvious role is actually chairing the Parliament when it meets here in the debating chamber. Um, and I act just like any chairman of any other committee or organisation in that I have to keep order and make sure people obey the rules of the chamber. But the presiding officer also has a lot of other things to do as well. Um, I have two deputies to help me in the role, and we are the only people that can actually represent the Parliament um, out and about in Scotland and also out and about in the world and because we're quite a new parliament lots of people want to come and talk to us about it um, and so we get lots of invitations to go and talk about the parliament to tell people what's different about it so we represent the parliament as well. What is your role in the Scottish Parliament? I'm the member of the parliament for the Edinburgh West constituency which is a constituency which goes all the way from South Queen's Ferry at the River Forth all the way to Muirhouse and Kerstorfen and Cramond and Craigmount and all sorts of other places in between. Um, and also here I'm a member of the Education Committee um, because I'm the Liberal Democrat Education Spokesperson and my job has got different facets to it. So I represent constituents' views in Parliament, I question ministers, uh, I attend debates, um, do all sorts of different things here and also obviously in the constituency. It's a great job because what I'm doing is I'm reporting what's going on in the Scottish Parliament to all the listeners of Radio Forth and Radio Clyde and North Sound and lots of other radio stations. So basically that's what I do. I report what goes on here, tell people out and about what's happening in the Scottish Parliament and how it affects them and how it affects their daily lives. I lead a team of 16 people and we provide a variety of education services for young people, for teachers and for adults and we do everything in English and in Gaelic. What is the importance of devolution to the people of Scotland? Well, I think um, that's a very good question, but I think the real importance is that before the Parliament was set up, um, everybody was saying what the Parliament would provide is Scottish solutions or Scottish answers to Scottish problems. And I think a lot of people felt that Westminster... Uh, was sort of more and more remote fr from the real issues in Scotland and perhaps didn't have the focus of making the, the, making the decisions that applied to Scotland in Scotland. So what devolution has done undoubtedly is brought politics much closer to the people that it affects. Um, and that's what was promised and I don't think there's any doubt that that is the case because decisions now that affect our everyday lives here in Scotland are made in Scotland. And I think most people would think that was a good thing. Our next story focuses on politics and young people. With the general election, election due soon, it is important for people to be more informed about politics, especially when they're in high school. We spoke to several members of the Scottish Parliament, journalists and the head of the Current Debating Club to find out how we can get involved. Here's Kathleen, Kirsty, Sarah, Alex, Kristen and Jamie with the details. Why is it important for young people to get involved in the politics? Well, I mean, young people are the future and uh, politics isn't going to go away. Politics is about power, who's got the power, who wants the power, whether you, know, you can actually change the power situation. There's lots of issues that affect young people directly, education for example, and it's important that young people when they're at school learn about uh, the political process, learn about uh, 
the decisions that are made and actually get involved in, in, in remaking some of those decisions eventually. What do you do in this school to help pupils to get involved in politics? Well, I think you're an example of it. I think modern studies are an obvious place where politics can be uh, studied in some depth, the political process can be looked at. In my you know, sort of role as debating coach, we certainly do a lot of uh, debating at lunch times or tournament debating in the evenings, uh, where young people very articulately, very persuasively tackle uh, lots and lots of political, moral, social issues. Do any of your pupils have the potential to be an MP when they're older? Absolutely, and uh, two of the current fifth year, for example, uh, they were at the Parliament on St Andrew's Day, and they were in the chamber, uh, they were debating alongside university students. One of the young men got to the final, so he was, uh, he was delivering uh, a speech from the debating chamber. Uh, the judges, many of them were MSPs, and I don't think they were just being flattering when they said that actually the school speakers and university speakers were every bit as eloquent, even more eloquent and articulate than many of the, the MSPs. So yes. Why should more young people get into politics, especially in your community? The, the Parliament actually has decision-making and, and law-making uh, powers over what I would really describe as everything that really affects our everyday life, our education, our housing, our transport, our national health, um, many of the issues surrounding our environment, which of course are increasingly important. Um, and so really, um, everything that you and I do every day uh, is impacted on by the work here in the Scottish Parliament. That applies as much to young people. In fact, I'm, I would almost argue even more to young people who have grown up with the Scottish Parliament as part of their lives than perhaps it does to people of my age for whom it's still a very new thing. Why is it important that young people get involved in Scottish politics? I think it's important for young people to get involved in politics because it's really about um, you having your voices heard in your parliament. Um, you may not be able to vote yet, but you can still do things to change things, make things better. So if you've got ideas for, about the things that matter to you, you should discuss them with your local MSPs um, and see if you can make a difference. Do you think the parliament engages with young people? And if so, in what way? I think probably the Scottish Parliament is one of the best parliaments around the world at engaging with young people because there's been a number of petitions which have come to the Scottish Parliament which have come from kids as young as primary school kids and you know, the Parliament has acted upon them and it has taken action as a result of those petitions. Also, there is not a day goes by where there's not some school trip to the Scottish Parliament. So the, the, the Scottish Parliament probably engages with kids better than most. But having said that, there's always something extra that it could do and maybe there are young people out there who could come up with better ideas than what the Scottish Parliament's doing at the moment.